the calculus unit 5 day 39 notes part 3 uh, for each of the following function state specifically why the EVT extreme value theorem is or is not applicable on the given interval well let's look back at the definition of extreme value theorem if f of x is continuous on a closed interval so that's the first thing it has to be continuous over that closed interval um, then we know the extreme value theorem will hold and then it has at least one absolute max and one absolute min on that closed interval. So I, I'm really just looking, is it continuous over the closed interval? Well, they give us the interval to be from negative 5 to 0. So I look, ooh, rational function, hey, I know that um, there's going to be a vertical asymptote when x equals negative 3. And therefore, it's not continuous. Is x equals negative 3 within that interval? Yes, it is. So let's come up with our conclusion. We determined that extreme value theorem is not applicable for the function h of x on the closed interval. And again, if I wrote this in interval notation, be our brackets. Because y, and I didn't point this out before, because it's less than or equal to, less than or equal to. If I had something that looks like this, um, 3 to 7, that's considered the open interval. Okay, that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at the closed interval from negative 5 to 0. So uh, because h of x is not continuous at x equals negative 3, and that falls on the interval. All right, let's look, look at the next example. Now g of x equals 2x times the square root of x minus 3. Well, 2x is continuous, but let's look at the component that represents uh, the square root of x minus 3. I know under radical, it has to be positive. So I know x minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 3. So I know that's only going to hold true when x is greater than or equal to 3. Well, I need it to be from negative 5, including negative 5, all the way up. So there's going to be some points that don't work. So right there, that tells us it's not going to be continuous. So let's write that up. So we find out the extreme value theorem is not applicable for g of x on the interval from negative 5 to 0 because g of x is only continuous when x is greater than or equal to 3. All right, the last example here fx equals natural log of x plus 7. I know you can only take the natural log of positive values, so you can't take the natural log of 0. You can't take the natural log of a negative number. So, hey, and that's supposed to be greater than, sorry. Natural log of 7 must be greater than 0. Actually, x plus 7 must be greater than 0. Therefore, x must be greater than negative 7. Hey, that's so negative 6 will work, and obviously everything above that so now this is going to tell us that it's continuous over that closed interval. So now we know that it's going to it's going to work. Let's write that. Okay, and as we said, extreme value theorem is applicable for the function f of x because the function is continuous for all x greater than negative seven, which are on the closed interval from negative five to zero. Okay. All right. What we want to do next is I'm going to have you. We're going to go over these in class. So this is going to be part of your notes, but you're going to try these four problems. And they want to know, and let me read the directions here, um, extreme values. So what we're looking for there is we're looking for the, the y values, because extreme values of the function. So remember, extreme value theorem has to be continuous. So is it always continuous? Is there a place it's undefined? Um, so what do I have to do? I have to first make sure it's continuous, as we said. I have to find out where the derivative is 0, where the derivative is undefined, and then use the endpoints and use substitute all those values back into the function. And then, hey, the max y value is the absolute maximum, and the min y value is the absolute minimum. So try those four. We'll go over them next class, and that's the uh, day 39 notes.